Hi, if you are resetting your laptop or if you are installing new operating system and it is stuck somewhere like this, maybe it is 60, 70 or 90 percent and it is not progressing at all for a very long time, maybe uh, 30 minutes or one hour, then what do you need to do? In this video, I am going to suggest you a few things. Uh, you should try those things, then I hope uh, the problem will be solved and uh, the resetting process or installing operating system maybe it is windows or some other operating system the installation will be progressing and uh, you'll solve this issue so i was resetting my laptop and uh, before starting the resetting process i did connect the charger with it so after connecting the charger i started the resetting process and uh, in few minutes maybe 15 to 20 minutes it's completed up to 69 percent and after that it was stuck I waited for a very long time, maybe one hour, around one hour, at least more than 45 minutes. And it was still like that only, 69%. So I wanted to try something. But you know, at this situation, you cannot do anything. You cannot uh, shut down your laptop. If you do so, then maybe. So at the end, I just uh, disconnected the charger. I just removed the charging pin. And uh, that's it. <laughs> After uh, two or three minutes, the process started progressing again and in just 15 minutes the process completed and my laptop was reset so that's how i solved this issue and you can try that too but if your laptop was not connected to the charger initially then you can just uh, connect the charger and maybe that will solve the issue so uh, what you need to do just uh, connect the charger if it, you, it if it was not connected but if it is connected then just remove the charger and wait for two or three minutes at this point i must remind you something before trying the advanced things, whatever I'm going to suggest after this, you must wait at least one hour if your laptop has SSD card as a main storage device. If it is not hard disk, if it is SSD, then you must uh, wait for at least one hour. It hardly takes 30 minutes, but sometimes it may take more than one hour. But if your laptop has hard disk instead of uh, any SSD as a main storage device, then you must wait at least three hours. You know, sometimes it may take uh, more than two hours. If it your uh, if your main storage device is hard disk, it is very slow, you know. So just remember that things. The first things you should try, but if uh, that does not solve the issue, then you go. You should uh, try the advanced things. The advanced things are something like this: press and hold the power button on your laptop for two or three seconds until uh, your laptop shuts down completely. Check the LEDs. Uh, make sure it is shut down. The LEDs are off. Then just uh, remove the power source, uh, the charger or the battery. Alright, so just remove the battery and the power, power cable and press and hold the uh, power button on your laptop. Make sure everything is removed. The battery is removed, the charger is removed and then press and hold the power button for almost uh, 15 seconds. It will be better if you press and hold the power button for more than 20 seconds. Alright, maybe 20 or 30 seconds. And after doing that, uh, again reconnect your battery or the power source and then again try resetting your laptop whatever you want to do just uh, try to do that but if uh, that uh, problem comes back again i hope this will solve the issue all right just removing the battery and power source and pressing and holding the power button it will solve the issue but if it is still not solved then you need to try more advanced things and that will be like this press and hold the power button to shut down your laptop and then remove the charger remove the charger and the battery and then you need to press and hold the power button for more than 30 seconds that is the same thing you just tried before and after that you need to get access to the ram just to open your laptop's case uh, maybe it is on the back or somewhere else just find it how you can access the ram just uh, access the ram and remove the ram whatever you have maybe you have two ram or three ram just uh, remove the RAM stick and it will be better if you can also remove the hard disk cable from your motherboard from the motherboard of your laptop just uh, disconnect the hard disk or SSD whatever you have in your laptop and uh, you have already removed the RAM all right and after that you need to wait for more than 20 minutes just wait for 20 or half an hour and then again reconnect your RAM and SSD or hard disk whatever you have it will be better but maybe in 10, in 10 minutes also you can solve this so maybe you just need to wait 10, 10 minutes or something or maybe you may not wait and just remove the ram and uh, reconnect it and that will solve the issue that can happen but if you have time then just wait for more than 20 minutes 
and then reconnect the RAM and uh, whatever you have just disconnected maybe your hard disk or SSD and then just uh, reconnect everything the battery and then try again I hope that will solve the issue so that's the thing I can uh, suggest right now but uh, if uh, that does not solve the issue I'm 90% sure that will solve the issue but if it does not then I'm sorry and uh, please let me know how did you solve this after solving the issue so that's it for this video guys if you like this video then please click on the like button and please stay connected by subscribing the channel thank you for watching this video see you soon in the next video goodbye